Hey, what's going on everybody? John here with ECP Outdoors and ecpoutdoors.com. Today I wanted to go ahead and show off something cool that came through. Um, not a lot of pictures of this gun out there. It was kind of a maybe a one-off type of run uh, by Black Rain Ordnance in their Fallout 15 series. And this would be, as you could probably tell, the Gadsden uh, edition. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a limited run. I, I would assume there's not these things aren't being produced on a, on a higher scale. There's no mention of that there's only, you know, so many made, but given some of the detail, I would assume this was kind of, again, just a one-off type of run and something a little different to do. So uh, let's jump in to showing some of the key features here and give you an overall view of this rifle and uh, see if this is something that kind of grabs your attention and might be something uh, you could be interested in. So again, Black Rain Ordnance Fallout 15. Given the Fallout 15, um, and again, this one's actually chambered in uh, 223 Wild. Given it's the Fallout 15, you have your uh, your billet lower. It's actually a forged upper and then back to a uh, billet handguard. So the one thing that uh, wasn't really talked about when uh, this was being sent out to us is from just the picture, I assume this was just painted, but it's actually uh, laser etched. So it's a laser etched um, Gadsden snake, the rattlesnake, uh, and then painted with the yellow and black uh, distressed, which is really cool. Uh, 16 inch, 223 wild stainless barrel. Let's see if I can get in there. Kind of a bead blasted matte type of stainless barrel. And then also most notably is they added this super nice break here, which is also a black rain ordinance, uh, break, which is really cool. Uh, furniture wise, you've got yourself some Magpul MOE collapsible stock. MOE grip. Trigger wise, it appears to be just kind of a mil spec trigger. Uh, so let's call it maybe five and a half, six pound pull, something like that. Charging handle is not ambi, but definitely has a little bit more uh, chunkiness and more to grab there. Also in a stainless finish, uh, which, you know, I never really thought of much about stainless uh, matching up with yellow, but it, it looks really good. Uh, maybe because of the distressed and the black. I don't know, but it, it looks good with the stainless and then the yellow. Uh, and then you get the laser etched, don't tread on me, uh, magazine, which is also a black rain mag, pretty cool. So this is the one side, let's run this down real quick. You can check all of that out, awesome. Full view, all right, give me a second here, adjust this. All right, let's see if we can flip this around. Not mentioned earlier is your bolt carrier, bolt carrier, bolt carrier group. Looks like you got a nickel boron uh, with the black rain logo etched into it. Not sure if they're manufacturing their own bolt carrier groups, uh, but definitely a black rain bolt carrier group. So the other side is just the as finish wise is just the yellow. But let's start back here at your stock. You have the let it rain dust cover. Really cool. Now the top is where you can see more of the, the black. So I like when they do the Fallout series and they leave the, the Picatinny slot uh, in the black and not against whatever color they were going with. It's evident in all their distress. Same with like the Stormtrooper, the Zombie, um, and in the Red series as well. Really cool. Top view. Quickly, quickly we'll show the bottom here. Everything else is pretty standard, but again, just want to give you that good overall view. Here's the front. Sorry, got the tag in the way here. There's the bottom of your trigger guard. And all the way around. So, uh, really cool. I think this gun looks really, uh, really nice. Uh, would fit in great with any sort of collection, or if you already own some Black Rain stuff, this would probably complement really well to everything else you have. So again, that's guys, that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks guys. See ya.